In this video, I want to show you how to create a special Windows 11 USB key so to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Unsupported hardware means hardware that has an unsupported TPM or it has no TPM at all and also it has like an old CPU that is not fast enough and it has 4 GB of RAM. So the PC I'm gonna be using is a really old Optiplex Dell PC. It dates from 2007, I think. It's almost like 15, 16 years I have it. And then I'm gonna install Windows 11 on it. So to do this, you need first the Windows 11 ISO. You need also a utility called Rufus and you need a USB key. And I'm gonna show you how to get these three. So let's start first with getting the Windows 11 ISO. Open your web browser and then go to the site microsoft.com slash software dash download and here choose Windows 11 so click on Windows 11 and then scroll the third option is download Windows 11 disk image ISO so click on the drop down list here and select Windows 11 and then click on download now it will prompt you to select a product language so select the language you want for my case I want English then click on confirm and then here you need to select the architecture of the ISO image it has only one option 64-bit download so click on it and the download begins so I previously downloaded the same ISO I'm gonna cancel this download because it takes a lot of time and I'm gonna use the ISO that I downloaded earlier so now that we downloaded the Windows 11 ISO file we need to download the Rufus utility so open a new tab in your browser and go to rufus.ie and then scroll to almost the middle of the page under download click Rufus 3.16 portable and it's very important to get the 3.16 version or higher so here it is 3.16 so click on it and the download starts so now we have Rufus and we have the Windows 11 ISO image so let me close the browser we don't need it anymore and at this stage you need to insert the USB key that you will be putting the ISO file on using Rufus here I have a Samsung bar plus USB key if you want to check it out I'm gonna leave a link in the description to check it out you will need to use a USB key that is 8 gigabytes or more and preferably always use a fast USB key so 3.0 or more so here I'm inserting my Samsung bar plus USB key so open the downloads folder where you downloaded Rufus here in my case it is under downloads and here's Rufus so start Rufus by double clicking its executable file and then click yes if prompted and here Rufus will ask you if you want to check for regular updates click on yes and here you need to select first the USB key that you just inserted in your PC please make sure that you're selecting the correct USB key because all the information on the USB key will be wiped so here I have only one USB key and then you need to select the Windows ISO file so click on select here and then choose the ISO file that you downloaded earlier once you choose it click on open and once you select the Windows 11 ISO image you have this option that appears here which is called image option so click on the drop down arrow here and then make sure to select extended Windows 11 installation no TPM no secure boot 8 gigabytes minus RAM so select it and then here under partition scheme if you have a really old PC make sure you select MBR so that you can boot either from legacy BIOS or from UEFI and leave everything else by default and then click on start here you have the warning that everything on your USB key will be deleted so please make sure that you're using a USB key that you don't need the data on and here I am sure so I'm gonna click on OK so the USB key will be wiped and the ISO image will be copied to the USB key so I'm gonna cut this video and come back when the operation is almost finished so now the operation is almost finished and when everything is ready you will get here under status the message ready in this green bar here 
So let's give it a second. So here we have the message. So here, click on close. And let's remove the USB key and head to our ancient computer. So this is USB key. So this is my very old Dell Octiplex computer. I'm going to insert the USB key that we just prepared in it. And now the USB key is inserted and I'm going to start from the USB key. So when the PC starts, you need to press the hot boot key to go into the boot menu. Here it is F12 because it's a Dell computer. And as you notice, even the boot menu is really, really old. So I'm going to choose USB and then hit enter. Hit any key also to start from USB. So here's the Windows 11 setup program running. So here, choose your language. I'm going to keep it on English US for me. Then click on next and then click on install now. And here for the product key, for now, I'm not going to put a product key. So I'm going to click, I don't have a product key. And at this screen here, you need to choose either education or pro. Home will not work because home will oblige you to put a pin to log in. And because this computer doesn't have a TPM, you cannot put a pin because the pin is associated with the TPM. So you need to select either pro or education. I'm going to select pro. And then I'm going to click on next. So when you select pro or education, this way you can create a local user to log in to Windows 11. Click on I accept, next. Click on custom. So here I have two drives in my computer. I'm going to select drive one to install Windows 11 on. And you see I have many partitions. So I'm going to delete the partitions. And here, please make sure that you don't need the information on the drive and make sure you're selecting the correct drive because everything on it will be wiped. So I'm going to delete it. And delete all the partitions on drive one. And now you have drive one unallocated space and then select it and then select next. Of course, if you have one drive only, clean the drive that you have in your PC. So here's the installation of Windows 11 continuing. So now the first phase of the installation finished. Click on restart now. The computer will restart and it will restart from the internal hard drive. So this is here the configuration screen of Windows 11. I'm going to go through it very quickly. I'm going to stop only on the important configuration that I want to show you, which is using a local user. So here, choose your language. And then choose your keyboard layout here. I'm going to keep it on US for me. I don't want to add another keyboard. And here I'm going to connect to my wireless network. Don't be here surprised because it has wireless, even though it's an old computer. I simply put a Wi-Fi USB dongle in it. So I'm going to select my Wi-Fi and then click Connect. And once it is connected, click on Next. So name your device, click on Next. So here I'm going to click on Setup for Personal Use and then click Next. And this is the most important step here. You cannot use a Microsoft account to log in to your computer. Otherwise, you have to put a pin. So click on Sign in Options. And then click on Offline Account. And then click on Skip for Now. And choose an offline account. So put anything. I'm going to put KST User simply. And then click on Next. I'm not going to give it a password now. If you want to give it a password, of course, feel free to do it. So here's Windows 11 running on unsupported hardware. Let me show you quickly the properties of the PC so that you can see the processor and the RAM. So open Explorer and right click this PC properties. 
Let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see it. So as you notice here, it is an Intel Core 2 Duo and it has 4 gigabytes of RAM only. So that was it for installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware using Rufus. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel greatly. I want to thank you all for watching and hope to see you in the next video.